Hello guys, welcome to Motor Beam. As you can see the title, we are talking about the top 5 bikes you can buy under 2 lakh rupees. When I say 2 lakh rupees, I am talking about the on-road price and you know, this list is not gonna have just 5 bikes. I'm gonna add more from each and every company. So let's go. First is the bikes from Yamaha. When I talk about Yamaha, we've got one or two, no, actually three good Yamaha motorcycles. Number one being the MT-15, which comes at an edge price of 1,99,000. Yes, the price of the Yamaha MT-15 has increased like crazy and one of the variants or specific colors come under 2 lakh rupees so you can buy that motorcycle. If you want that, that special extra color which is a Yamaha racing blue and all of that, that is a little extra so you'll have to pay a little more than 2 lakh rupees but for that you get USD forks, you get dual channel ABS which is standard now and everything on that motorcycle is just brilliant. You get traction control as well plus LED indicators so everything has been updated for the Yamaha MT-15. For 2 lakh rupees, you can get a good motorcycle that returns a decent fuel efficiency too. Next is a motorcycle that comes with the same engine and that is the RN5S. I'm not talking about the version 3, version 4 motorcycles because version 4 of the RN5 is a little bit more costlier than the MT15 and it goes way about 2 lakh rupees. So if you want to stick under 2 lakh, you can get the version 3 which is the S variant of the RN5. So RN5S V3 that gets a single piece seat, so a little more comfortable. Same engine as the MT15 or the RN5, so same power and torque. Dual channel ABS which is standard, so that is nice. LED headlights which is nice and a full fair setup. And the third motorcycle everybody knows and loves and that is the Yamaha FZ25. A perfect balance of torque and power at 20 bhp, 20 Nm and that motor is just the one to go for because if you want to go touring, that is the one you should get. Sit on that motorcycle, do a full tank of 14 liters and just leave. You will enjoy that motorcycle to the core and that is a torque loaded Yamaha which is quite lightweight too. Since we are talking about 250s, Next is the Bajaj Pulsar F250 and N250. Now both these motorcycles come under the price bracket of 2 lakh rupees because they are very closely matched to the MH FZ25. N250 is cheaper than the FZ25 while the Pulsar F250 is a little bit costlier than the FZ25. But then again you get great amount of performance, more power, little bit more torque as compared to the Yamaha and then these are motorcycles that have the distinctive Pulsar look. So yes, the F250 and N250 are very good choices since you get dual channel ABS as standard now as well. And then when we talk about the Pulsar lineage, we have the Pulsar NS200. Now that is a motorcycle that has been in the Indian market for the last whole decade and now it has been updated. You get USD forks as standard, dual channel EBS as standard and that motorcycle produces the perfect power to weight ratio in the whole Pulsar lineup. So yes, that is a nice choice again. Then we come to TVS. Now TVS has two good motorcycles. When I say two, TVS Apache 204V is the perfect choice for me and everybody since I've been suggesting since a very long time. You get adjustable levers, you get adjustable suspension and a 200cc motor that can go the distance very nicely. You only get a 5-speed gearbox setup but then again there are no complaints with the Apache because it is a sporty motorcycle yet a naked and has an overall great balance. Then we have the newest motorcycle from TVS and that is the TVS Ronin. Now that motorcycle comes also under the price of 2 lakh rupees for particular variants. So you can get probably the single channel ABS variant for under 2 lakh rupees and that is definitely a nice choice because it also gets upside down forks and a retro scramblerish mixed looking motorcycle with a decent mileage number too. It gets a 225cc motor and yes it is quite torquey. And since we are talking about the Ronin, we cannot forget the Royal Enfield Hunter as they are proper genuine competitors in the second segment nowadays. The 350 Hunter is fighting the same fight because they come at a similar price range and the performance and the overall feel feedback from the motorcycle is quite similar. Both the motorcycles are tech loaded and give that youngster classic motorcycle feel. And as we are talking about classic, there is the classic 352. No wait, classic 350 is way too costlier. We can talk about the bullet 350 which again comes under the price bracket of 2 lakhs. So yes, if you want to have the lineage of Royal Enfield which comes as a slow going touring machine, the Bullet 350 is also a great choice for people out there. And the last motorcycle in this lineup is nothing else but the Hero Expulse 200. Now you can get the 200T or the Expulse or the Expulse Pro which has just been launched. But then again, all these three motorcycles have one thing in common and that is the accessibility to go over any kind of road. The good suspension travel, comfortable motorcycle and a decent engine that produces close to 17, sorry, 19 bhp of power and 17 newton meters of torque so yes that is a great motorcycle to get around the expulse 200 is the most affordable bike you can buy in india and hence it is one of my favorite bikes too there are so many more bikes under 2 lakh rupees that you can buy but these are the top ones that i feel you should consider when you have that money to spend thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this video i hope it was helpful to you as well and if it was let me know in the comment section below which bike did you pick which bike do you own in this list thank you bye